My mama Aline loves flowers, so for Mother's Day, I am creating some mini canvases. These will be her everlasting flowers. I'm using my Aline's Collage Posh and the Tulip Soft Paint. This is a really fun technique because I'm going to, for the background, transform paper towels, so we have a little bit of eco going on here. I'm going to transform these into the coloring effect that you see on the canvas. So I like to do several of these at a time, and you just fold them in half, fold them back and forth so that they're small enough to dip into these colored baths. And what I've done with these is I've mixed my Tulip Soft Fabric Paint with water, and it's just going to soak it right up. Can you see that there? Of course, it's a paper towel that's going to soak up that water. So I just squeeze the excess out, and then I'm going to dip the other end in here and let it soak it up. Isn't that fun? And that is how I color my paper towels. You can also, if you want to, add some more color down the center. <laughs> squeeze out this excess here if you want to add a third color. So you can see how that works. I like to open these up and lay them out to dry flat and then you iron them. And that is what I have done with these right here. The colors when they dry are lighter, so keep that in mind if you're trying to match a specific color that you want to go a little bit darker to begin with. Then you take your little mini canvas, and of course you could do this on larger canvases too, and select if you want your collage page in matte or gloss. Eco Heidi's going to love that I'm just putting my fingers right into it today. Now keep in mind when you are working with your paper towels that they do have two thicknesses. So I like to work one thickness at a time. Decide where you want the color pattern and just lay this down and again lightly rub over your collage posh and keep it really really moist because these paper towels are very delicate you want to make sure that it's really moist and then they won't tear. So continue that on the sides, wrap it around, cut it so it fits right to size. Decide what shape that you want your canvases in your collection. As you can see, all three of mine, I like them all the same size. So next I took these paper flowers and decided where I wanted them to be placed on the canvas and just take your permanent marker. When I first laid these out on my canvas, I thought that they were just a little bit plain to just set right on the canvas. So I thought I would just do this outline technique and follow right around the flower. And it's a fun way to add some nice detail to your canvas without having to do a lot of artistic work. And I just double up some of those lines. You can see this goes very, very quickly. And it's a really cool way to outline. Be sure that your canvases are very, very dry before you start using your pen and continue to draw just like I've done here. Now, once again, this is the matte Aline's Collage Page, and I think these would be really cool with the gloss also. So you will put your collection together. You can put them onto a little easel, and you would use your Aline Super Thick Tacky Glue to glue your flowers on. I'm Tiffany Windsor, and I think it's cool to craft.